hey this is wasi from flip 9 visual effects today i am going to show you how you can create this cinematic particle logo animation in after effects and trust me it's really easy to do so stay with me till the end let's jump into after effects okay so first create a new composition rename it to main logo and i am going with 1920 1080p frame rate 29.97 and duration 10 seconds then hit ok now import the project files you can download them from link in the description box now drag the logo file into the timeline press s to bring up the scale property and reduce the size of the logo now right click and choose pre-compose select move all attributes and rename it to logo In the project window, drag the metallic texture layer into the timeline, place it below the logo layer and scale it down a little bit like this. Now set the track mat of the texture layer to alpha mat logo. Now right click on the texture layer, go to layer style and select bevel and emboss and click on the small arrow to expand the settings and set the technique to chisel hard. Then size set to 63 and adjust the angle slightly and leave the altitude as it is. Set the highlight mode to overlay and change the color to cyan. Then set the highlight opacity to 100% and shadow opacity to 80%. Next go to effect and preset panel, search for curves and apply it onto the texture layer. Then adjust the RGB curves to enhance the contrast and detail. Now duplicate the logo layer by pressing Ctrl or Command D. Then turn on visibility of this layer. Now apply fill effect and set the color to black. Then add bevel alpha. Set edge thickness to 3.20 Adjust the light angle Set light intensity to 1 Now set the layer blending mode to add Before we continue, I would like to thank Envato for sponsoring this video If you are a motion designer like me, you know how much time it takes to find right asset for your project That's where Envato comes in It's an all-in-one platform with unlimited downloads of high-quality video templates stock footage, music, sound effects, fonts, mockups, and more. Just search for what you need, download it, and you are ready to go. All royalty free for commercial use. So if you want to speed up your workflow and create stunning animation faster, check in Vato, link in the description box below. Okay, let's create another composition. Let's call it Big Chunks. then hit ok now select the logo comp and place it into this timeline then go to effect and preset window and search for cell pattern and then cell pattern set it plates then sharpness set it 616 and then size set it 2 then search for coloroma then apply it onto the layer Okay, let's create another composition. Let's call it logo shatter. Then hit OK. Select the logo comp and place it into this timeline. Go to effect and preset window and search for fractal noise. And apply it onto the layer. Then uh, contrast set it to 34 and brightness set it minus 6 then go to transform and scale value set it to then add coloroma ok 
okay again create another composition let's call it gradient map then hit ok now select the logo comp and place it into the timeline then go to effect and preset window and search for simple choker and choke mat set it minus 12 then add gradient ramp now click on swap colors and ramp shapes to radial ramp then change the start of ramp position okay let's add first box blur and blur radius set it 7 now close all three comps you just created okay now create another composition and rename it to logo animation then click on ok drag in the main logo composition also the logo shutter gradient map and big chunks then turn off visibility of these three layers now go to effect and preset window and search for shutter apply it onto the main logo composition view set it rendered then go to shape and pattern set it custom custom shutter map set it uh, logo shutter and extrusion depth set it zero then go to force one and set the position here then radius set it 0.85 and strength set it 0 0.30 then go to force 2 then set the position around here and then set the radius to around uh, 0.29 and strength set it 0 0.60 then go to gradient and gradient layer set it our gradient map layer now go to around two and a half seconds then set a keyframe on shutter threshold set it zero then go to around six and a half seconds and then threshold amount set it hundred looks good to me now duplicate this layer and then simply go to shape and custom shutter map set it big chunks now you will notice larger particles appears which adds more depth and realism to the animation okay let's create another composition let's call it final touch then click on ok now select logo animation comp and drag it into this timeline now go to effect and preset window and search for cc light sweep shape set it smooth width set it 100 and sweep intensity set it 0 edge intensity set it 100 edge thickness set it 1.90 and light reception set it cut out now move the center point to the left then set a keyframe on center then go to around three and a half seconds then move the center point to the right now duplicate this layer and delete the cc light sweep effect then add gradient whip and transition softness set it 100 percent now go to beginning of this animation set a keyframe on transition completion set it 100 percent then go to around three seconds and transition completion set it zero now select this layer and move it few frames forward like this perfect
now select these two layer and make them 3d by clicking here okay now go to project window and select our grungy texture and place it into this timeline make it 3d then right click transform and click on flip horizontal then press p and increase the z value very high like this then increase the size and adjust the position okay now let's add uh, curves on it now adjust the RGB curves now go to project window and select our smoke layer then place it into this timeline make it 3d then press p and increase the z value like this then scale it up like this okay now change the layer mode to add then apply curves on it then change the RGB curves to something like this okay now create a null object now select all the layers and paint it to null 1 now make the null layer 3d by clicking here now press p set a keyframe then go to end of this timeline and decrease the z value to minus 400 now you can see a nice zoom in effect now go to project window and select our particles layer then place it into this timeline then right click transform then click on flip vertical then add curves then adjust the rgb curves then add tint on it then change the blending mode to add now create adjustment layer then add deep glow exposure set it 0 0.10 then go to input and threshold set it 50 then add curves then adjust the RGB curves like this then add sharpen and sharpen amount set it 20 and at the end apply photo filter filter set it custom and change the color to cyan and density set 30 our animation is complete you can ramp view this if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video till then peace out